Well, hello. Hopefully you guys are all doing great and you're on task and doing uh, what you're asked to be doing. Um, today is um, the explore section on task two. This uh, activity will take two class periods. Um, hopefully you are up for that. The very first thing you're going to do today is your opener. So pesticides is your word of the day. Uh, you'll have about three minutes to work on that. And then your explore section today is Mickey Mouse's birthday, Thursday, November 18th. Uh, up here, this is a video I made last year. So if any of you um, are absent, were absent during this activity, this is kind of going to step you through just a little bit more detail about what this activity is all about. So if there's some reason you just don't get what's going on, then you are, well, I'm just going to leave that for you if you want to um, watch that as well later on. So today we are going to talk about the uh, uses of resources. We know that um, natural resources are not fine. They're not infinite. We don't have as much as we want. Um, they're, they're limited amounts. Um, we know that some resources like natural gases and coal and oil are only available in some places, but not others. We've already learned that. Okay. So what are we going to talk about today? We know that plate tectonics, um, and here are the plate boundaries here. We know that these major plates are the driving force between all of the resources. They're the reason that we have the resources that we have. They are the reason that we, the things are where they are. All right, we've already learned all about all of that. Hopefully you remember all of that. Um, we know that there are three different types of plate boundaries. We have your um, convergent, divergent, and transformative. So remember we did this. Convergent, right? Divergent and then your transformative. Okay. So, um, divergent is when they are divided convergent, when they converge on top of each other and transformative is when they're sliding. So those create the geologic features that we have mountains, volcanoes, earthquakes, mid ocean ridges, even Hills. Okay. You learn that in your, um, projects, even Hills are created by these, um, plate tectonics, plate movements. But the plate movements also created um, the rock features that we have. They're the reasons that the rocks are where they are. They're the reasons that there are um, things in those rocks and the rocks are in different places around the world and the different kinds of rocks. So those different kinds of rocks hold things, different types of resources. So we're going to learn a little bit more about that in this lesson. All right. So... <clears throat> It is the plate tectonics that create the environments that we see, but they also um, create the distribution of those resources that we have. So on this lesson, we're going to concentrate on coal, metal ores, and groundwater. Okay, so metal ores are like your minerals. So your silver, your gold, your um, iron ores, things like that. Okay. So what are you going to do today? So we have, we're going to do, this is going to be in groups. You're going to use this information today and tomorrow. This is going to be your evidence. Remember, everything that we do is for another reason, for another purpose. So don't take anything like it's a free day. Nothing is ever a free day with me. You know that. So what you're going to do is you're going to have a group. Uh, and I've already established the groups. So you guys don't get to pick. So if I've established the groups, you're going to have a home group and then each person in the group is going to become is going to leave your home group and you're going to become an expert in one of these three natural resources. And what you're going to do is you're going to go with another group of people and you're going to become an expert in that natural resource. And you're going to research, you're going to learn together all about that natural resource. All right. So in on this slide, you have a link right here to station cards. Okay. So with your expert group, 
you're going to open up that slide. And this is going to have everything you need to answer the questions in your notebook. Okay. So for example, if your group, if you're with a group and your um, resource that you're learning about is coal or energy, then you're going to find the information about coal. So this has everything you need to know about coal, um, what it is, how it was created, where it is, where it's located, and um, the danger of running out, what are the human impacts of it. Then I have some evidence maps as to where you're going to find it and evidence that shows that it's not equally distributed uh, across the globe. Okay. If you are um, in station with metals, then this is going to give you the information that you need about metals. Okay. So this is all the information you need about metals. And then this is uh, distribution of copper. So this is going to show you where in the world you would find copper. And then the same thing with water. So where is groundwater located? Why is it important? And what is going to happen if we don't have it? All right. And then this is also the um, a map that shows uh, freshwater resources and where in the world that it's not. This would be a good resource to go with your culminating project. So this would be a good um, thing to look at to decide where would you like to um, decide on a location for your culminating project. Okay, so you're going to take notes, um, prepare your uh, statement and to report back to your home group. So you're going to do that on the next day. So in your, um, in your science notebook, you're going to have on page 15, you're going to have these three questions. So your assigned resource, which you're going to put down whichever one of the three that you become an expert on. What caused it to form? Where do you find it? And how have humans affected it? Either negative, positive, or both. So put as much information in there about it as possible. And then when you go back to your home group tomorrow, you will report back these three things and then they will record what you have told them. So you will report to them. And then they'll record and then you'll report, they'll report to you what they found on theirs. So that is um, the assignment for today. And then the jigsaw groups are here on this slide. If you look here, there's the link to my um, groups. If you look on the jigsaw, each group has first, second, third hour. This is your home group. And then this is your uh, expert groups. So these people will be together learning about coal. These people will be together learning about metals and then about groundwater. So you guys can work together to answer the questions. And then uh, tomorrow you will go back to your home group and then teach your group about your, your um, section. Okay. And then so I will go ahead and let's see. Yep. So, and then tomorrow you will get back with your group and you will just finish the project by getting with your home group and then finishing by giving everybody the information that you learned and they will share their information with you.